be able to learn a little bit more about the story on the cassette tape. We'll read our parts and show the clues when instructed to do so. To go over the characters again, Phil Muggs, David Delgato, Willie Crash, Ginny Tonic, Rita Book, Marshall Hartz, and Marlena is in the corner. The first round. Welcome to Murder a la Carte, a series of murder mystery games. Unhappy Hour, Side 1, Frank Taylor's Introduction. Hey there, from the Windy City. I'm retired police lieutenant Frank Taylor. You can call me Frankie. Now, Chicago is my kind of town, and this is my kind of night. Lots of action. You know what I'm saying. It's August 1994, and we're sitting here in a neighborhood bar called Dex's Place on Lakeshore Drive. The liquor's not bad, and we've got a good view of Chicago's skyline. Beautiful. Dex's is the kind of place you go to meet friends. Or maybe kill somebody. We'll see. Now, in Chicago, we got a reputation for gangsters and violence. So one little murder in a smoky bar is no big deal. But to you people who came here for a good time tonight, I can see it's serious business. All of you knew the victim, Dexter Doyle. He owned the joint, named it after himself, Dex's Place. Some of you worked for him, some of you were his friends, and the rest just dropped in to drink his booze now and again. No matter. If you were here in the bar with him tonight, when he was gunned down, you are a suspect. Let me go over the facts. The bar was packed with people, but as midnight approached, the crowd started to leave. Just before closing time, there were only you diehard regulars left. All of a sudden, the bar lights went out. It was pitch black. You couldn't see nobody for nothing. Then, from somewhere in the bar, a gun was fired, and you all heard a body drop to the floor. There was a lot of confusion for a few minutes until the lights came back on. You found Dexter Doyle lying on the floor in a pool of blood. He caught a bullet in the chest. Most likely from that gun that was fired. It was dark, so nobody saw what had happened. As I said, I'm retired, so I won't be doing the investigation. The homicide squad will be here shortly. On a busy night, they can have two, maybe three murders to deal with. So be patient. In the meantime, you might want to compare observations and see if you can solve Dexter Doyle's murder. Stop the tape until the end of round one. It was her. Whatever, lady. <laughs> <laughs> She's obviously the mastermind behind all of this. The pamphlet. Maybe Dolores <laughs> all right. is a Cuban name. So nice. Dexter is dead. And that's how he's pronounced. I have no idea why I'm here talking to all of you. I'm not running your group and I have nothing to, to do with that poor man's death. I barely knew him, yeah. I like German. <laughs> you, Marshall. Lady, don't even think about walking out of here. You've been parking that cute little tush of yours on this bar for three days waiting for something to happen. Mom. On my list of suspects, you're right at the top. I don't think I like you, Adam Marshall. You are, how do you say? <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing gay voice or not. Do gay voice. I'm gay voice. That's fine. You're not going to offend me, so whatever. Don't you worry about him, honey. Marshall's had a few too many karate chops in the head. Right in the soft spot, if you know what I mean. Hey, watch your doll face. I wasn't talking to you. Besides, you're not exactly what I call pure as the driven snow. Is that a gay joke? <laughs> Come on, you two. Cover. Cut it out. You've been sniping at each other for days. What do you say we all have a drink on our buddy, the dearly departed Dexter, and shake hands like friends? On him? Sure. Make mine a double shot. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> did I say shot? How <laughs> inappropriate under the circumstances. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I see Ginny and Phil are real broken up about Dexter. Next they'll be drinking and toasting themselves for doing such a good job of killing him. The way you shoot your b off your big mouth David, you wouldn't need a gun to kill somebody. That's a Roger Wilco. I've flown quieter seven four sevens than her. Really? <laughs> this guy only talks about planes? And crashed a few of them too, I'm sure. I'll have you know I have a perfect flying record. 
I won an aviation safety award two years ago. It's <laughs> you! <laughs> you were the first person to no. exist. No, no, no. no. Uh, page, page unmarked. It's a. Uh, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> Records can be fixed, Willy boy. But that's someone else's little problem right now. We got ourselves a killer to catch. And I suggest we move on it, people. Yeah. How did you lost? Yeah, how did you go? <laughs> You're not supposed to go past the first style hug. <laughs> I did. Oh, the cake is stuck together. Hold on a sec. Yep. Sure. Okay. okay. Does anyone want to get started first? Otherwise, I will. Nick does. Okay. <laughs> Phil. <laughs> Sorry. Well, Marlena, I remember you took a drink to Mar or I took a drink to your table this afternoon, and when you went to, went to your purse to get money, I noticed a handgun. Where is the gun? The gun is no longer in my purse. <laughs> Where is I the will gun? tell you that. I would use the telephone sometime early in the evening, and it's been missing. However, oh, I didn't want to upset anybody, so I did not say anything until now. What kind of gun? Kalashnikov. It's a uh, seven. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-two caliber handgun. You must know. Nope. <laughs> okay. So I don't have the gun. You want to check my purse? There's no gun in the purse. Check the purse. Can I check your purse? Go ahead. Babe, I'm gonna take all of the makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Mama. You're, a, you're a horrible gay series. I'll right? assume there's no gun in there. <laughs> well, since I, since I, you nominated me, I nominated you. Go ahead. Uh, me? Someone tried to run over Dexter with a vehicle when he left the bar closing last night. That person was driving Marshall's car. I have a feeling it was Marshall. Fortunately, Dexter got out of the way. Okay, let's say so you had to come back and finish the, game, the job up. tonight. Speak up. Sorry. Everybody speak up more. Speak up when they when, when they talk. So go ahead and do that again. <laughs> so, yes. Marshall, can I have you reenact the scene with your Jeep? Not Zoro. Marshall. And then back on Zoro. Little game user. Marshall. 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 <laughs> That's too far. That's too far. There you go. <laughs> Sit exactly <laughs> like that. We <laughs> like actually know about to you. Okay, so, Willie, I'm gonna have you pretend that you're Dexter. But can you redemonstrate the incident with your Jeep last night? You can pretend that your chair itself is the car. I think you're lost. I am lost. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think you've been there too many this. times in the head before I just jumped. You know what I mean? But I was over there, so it went backwards again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It's weird. Okay, so down here, somebody just accused you of running over Dexter. So you need Almost. to respond to David's challenge, which is this one. I can't read what it says. I'm wearing my back glasses, so. I didn't run over Dexter. I was looking at you trying to shoot him with a slingshot. <laughs> him. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get Marshall, Marshall, you're drunk. <laughs> Would you please demonstrate that? Again, we'll have Willie act That's as... That's Willie. <laughs> we'll have Willie act as Dexter, and we'll have you pretend that your chair itself is your car. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> All right. Well, I saw David turn off the lights just before Dexter was murdered, so he had to be a part of it. It's my job to blink the lights at the end of the night. You yeah, know that. You're always here because you're such a raging alcoholic. So I gotta flick them on and off every night so you leave the building. Okay, this night, it just stuck on off. I don't know why. It's okay. 
It's not my fault. I know. I they know. probably made it stick enough. to off, okay. and then they'd shoot him We're with the gun, and then it just yeah, looks like it's my fault. I trust you. Thank you. Don't touch me. No. Stop it. Now, Phil and Dexter were very competitive with each other about women. Phil would date a good-looking girl, and Dexter would sneak around behind his back trying to get the woman into his bed. Dexter and Phil nearly <laughs> came to blows a few times over this. It is possible Phil had enough of Dexter's shenanigans and tried to kill him? Just a little bit? You know what? Dexter did the same thing to me. It was more like a game between us. I would take some of his girls, he would take some of my girls. Nothing personal at all. Thug life. Exactly. This is 94, this is before Thug Life. I'm sorry. You know, for some reason, it seems like only one waiter in the entire bar restaurant, I don't know what they call it in this country too much, but it seems like only one of you seem to get away with a little more, how do you say, rudeness than everyone else. I don't know your name. <laughs> David. David. I had a friend named David. He's probably sexy. It comes with the name. David's my father. He's probably a sexy man. Comes with the name. <laughs> so tell me why. Did <laughs> someone of your stature get away with more ill treatment of customers than everyone else? What is your problem? And why did you spill that drink on me last night? I gotta reread this. Mm -hmm. One second. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, David treated me better because I was the best worker. No offense, honey, but you said I David treated you better. Who the fudge got Jinx. shot? <laughs> Dexter treated <laughs> <laughs> me bad. There you go. Dexter treated me better <laughs> because I was his best employee. No offense. That's fine. You're I'm pretty. Fine. You're pretty good. Yeah, no, I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> So he let me get away with a little more because he knew that I was good for it. I'm a good employee. I made him more money. If he let anyone else get away with all the stuff he let me get away with, they'd rob him blind. How would you do that? Because I'm a good person. And all of this blame is hurting my heart. I don't believe you. <laughs> What are you, Sorry. What, are you, what are you, a homophobe? You are the first person to examine homophobe? his body. Homophobe, yeah. Could you please define it? I, means you hate gay people. Yes, I was. People? I was the first no, person to examine he, his body. People who have sex with each other. Of the same gender. <laughs> and he, was this before uh, gay become, became a term for that? No, this is not nice. <laughs> so don't, speak, yeah, don't speak the language. What do you want me to do? True. Don't speak the language. I'm sorry, honey. Okay. You're okay. And speaking of... Honeys. Oh, oh. oh. Do it all over again. <laughs> <laughs> you were the first person to examine his body. Uh, yes, yes, I was. I, uh, I don't know what to tell you. I, I, I was up once the lights were turned off. I mean, I, I walked the light switch. I, I tried to switch it open, not on, and I don't know. Somebody ripped the gold wings right off of my shirt. And, uh, I love them. and how did they get in his hand I, if they were on your uniform? Um, the well, Dexter's a friend of mine. I mean, he was probably reaching for me. I, oh, he thought so I could the lights go off and you too. <laughs> now, 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 sir, I think you're misunderstanding my relationship with Dexter. Me and Dexter were just poorly, just not poorly. Perfect friends. Misunderstood? No, we're not misunderstood. Maybe you're the one with misunderstood thoughts, thinking about me like that way. You should be with this person right over here. No, hey, I understand. I know the wings are in his hand. Accusations. <laughs> so, Willie, I found something earlier today. What was that? Very interesting. You're not doing an accent. Who me? Some me. Me? I'm doing yeah. an accent. Okay. <laughs> you came across a copy of a letter, Transglo- or... The letter was from Transglobe Airlines. Secret clue one! That's what it's called. Uh, the letter uh, He has you know, 
You, you know what it said? You have to show the uh, Why don't you oh. tell us what, Is tell it me here? what it yeah. said. Oh, okay. It should say Q1 on it. Why don't you tell me what you what it said? Clearly you read it. <laughs> it says that you got fired for drinking and Dexter was three. Yes, I did get fired for drinking. I'm having a really hard time with my life. Matter of fact, I don't even know what this has to do with my best friend being shot. Did you but, did you know he, he he got you fired? None of that matters right now. Just answer the question. I I just answered the question. It, it, it I did, but it's not as if it matters. I I wouldn't do this to my best friend. Like somebody else around here. So Jenny. Alan? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's an alcoholic. With two names, and I'm bad with names just ever. My brother, my brother's name is Guido. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Guido <laughs> shot. <laughs> This has our faces on this, and just... Yay! We're fucked. <laughs> we're fucked forever. It's not like we wrote the game. My brother, Jesus, was in town recently and stopped by the bar. <laughs> Funny thing, he recognized you, okay? He said that you came into his publishing office last year, and you accused him of stealing... What? And he says he came into his publishing office last year and accused him of stealing her book! Jesus, this is his new name, tried to tell you that he knew nothing about it. He threw a fit. He called you a fan. I submitted my oh, that was my a manuscript <laughs> to uh, Guido. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. <laughs> I submitted my manuscript to Jesus, and I didn't hear anything back from him for a little while. I went back, and I lost my temper. I'm not crazy. I did submit it. It's not my fault that he stole it. It's all right. I believe you, honey. And you know what, Phil? It doesn't even matter also because I was planning to quit that job. It was a lousy place to work anyway. I believe you. And everybody knows. Our, was covering all our bases. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows Phil hates his job. I mean, I totally heard him on the phone with some investors on how he had convinced them to buy out the bar and make him bar manager. Is that right, Phil? With me. I do like working with you. And I also heard him manager. say that he said not to worry to the investors that Dexter wouldn't be a problem after tonight. Oh my gosh. Look, oh. it is true that I was going to buy him out. I was going to get the bar. If you allowed me, of course. And in return, I was going to give him a nice financial kickback. Kickback? You're a bartender. I never tipped you once. Well, you're, you a, you're a terrible tip. <laughs> Yeah, and you must, you must be real used to kickbacks. Mm -hmm. Namely, a kickbacks from a pistol. Whoa! Actually, I've never shot a gun. I don't believe you. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was a lie. <laughs> you should look into it. Very important. A lady has to protect herself around such a big city. Yeah? Oh, you're so Russian. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I'm just like European. Speaking of ladies, what's your name again? Guinea? Ginny. Gin. Like the like the gin and tonic. Gino. Ginny. Vin Vinny. With a G. Ginny. Ginny. Like a Ginny. 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 Whatever. I found this in the lady's bathroom the other day. Oh my gosh. There's a letter. A letter. Dated for and uh, sent to darling Dexter. Dexter. Um. You have the headband. Please read. <laughs> Call yourself. <laughs> yeah, control yourself there. None of y'all about Do you want me to read this to you? <laughs> uh, everyone, I've already read it. Out loud. And proud. I can never forgive you. I trusted you totally. <laughs> and you destroyed me. My love, my passion. How could you? If it takes forever, I will pay you back. <laughs> Sorry. Pay you back for what you've done. I want you to feel what I felt. <coughs> <coughs> Terrible lung cancer. 
Better day every day. That Vietnamese tobacco. <laughs> I'm gonna pay you back for everything you have done. I want you to feel what I have felt and suffer what I have suffered. One day you will turn the corner and I will POW! Revenge will be sweet as what? As I watch you die. What? Yours till the end. Jenny. I figured it out. He's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it wasn't Batman, obviously, <laughs> so we can cross one with suspect off of this. We're good. Alright. I don't think the dude is Batman. <laughs> how, could a, how could a person be a man and a bat? No, it's, 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 a, it's a costume, or like a bat costume, a disguise. Uh, every every, every like boy in America Gary's. reads it. Yeah. 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 Even, like, even Europe. Hmm? He's like Bat Gary, except yeah, instead of half coyote, he's half oh. man. Why did I do that to you? Thing. Um, everybody knows that me and Dex dated, and then I broke up with him. Fine. I didn't know that. I don't know. I know it. Slut. Of course you did. Slut. Out the alcohol. Leave the customers. I, I wrote the letter in an angry like moment. Him. I'm a writer. Of course I was going to make it dramatic. Somebody check if Dex turned the corner because it might just line up a little too well. Yeah. And then, and then, okay. <laughs> Can I get the letter? From this. Can I have the letter? Sure. So, Ginny, can you no, can you elaborate situation. a little bit more as to the moment that you wrote this, as to why you felt the way you did and what you were trying to pay him back for? It's a really non-complicated story, but everybody knows that relationships are hard. He betrayed me. I was pissy when I wrote the letter. Fair enough. No, no, no. Everybody knows Dex is a fair enough man. He wouldn't do anything like that. He don't do a fair enough right. man? Hello? They totally up. play chase each other's girlfriends. Ah, uh, uh, it's fun. <laughs> That's true. All my sister's boyfriends. Has everybody done all their accusations? I, uh, I have. Oh, Unsatisfied, so yeah. But complete, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, didn't have any ideas. No. Oh. Well, probably at this point. Yeah, they probably had like very dry. Somebody probably punched the other person. Somebody respected me, so I don't. But well, really she just kind of walked into the situation, <laughs> so I'd expect it to be dry. She <laughs> 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 just came in. Now you over there, who I didn't even know until ten seconds ago. I know you did it. Okay. Uh, we got some. More. Anyone want to say anything before we go? Anyone want to say anything else? All I know is it's the 1990s, and everyone loves Bill Clinton, and always will. Bill who? Is this? Oh. Say what? <laughs> the President of the United States of America. What did you say his name was? Just let the I Russian love America. Be. Okay, Come so if I do crimes, I'd get deported. This he, he's the guy America. with the saxophone. <laughs> you know, the president who plays the saxophone. You know, the band, the president? Yes. Go That's back to Yugoslavia. Well, you <laughs> go back to Yugoslavia. It's not okay. We don't allow that in this bar. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, honey. You're what my they, favorite. What, you're what my favorite customer. Again, homo what? Uh, he's he's a homosexual. That. Thank you. <laughs> I just shut up and slap me another round. No drinking until they get this figure this case figured out. You can dance. You can dance. <laughs> Everybody loves you. Okay, your book. I don't know what's going on with your book. So if you get lost again, just tell me, and I'll kind of help direct you. <laughs> something, something wrong with it? Yeah, no, his pages just... are kind of backwards. Yeah, really? It's yeah. like ass backwards. This is, for him. This is the ending up. of the first dialogue, but this is his stuff to read for the. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he has to stop with. <laughs> stop before you get a chance. Yeah. 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 So if you see me, I'm not reading it. I'm just like. Apparently, martial artists are supposed to work backwards. <laughs> it looks like 